Bienvenidos a la Midwest Flyways podcast. I'm not doing that with you. I am your host, Joey Basayo. <laughs> Except I'm not. I'm not Joey Basayo. I'm Cal Ness, and welcome to the Midwest Flyways podcast. We don't have Joey here tonight, so I figured I would do his little Bienvenidos intro. Probably did it better than him. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was really good. Yeah, thank you guys. That was solid. That's, you guys are ass kissers. <laughs> 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 All right. And with me, we have Gavin Colas and Kawabi Kato. Yeah. Thanks. Carter. It's true. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> All right. What's up, boys? Not much, brother. How we doing? It's, it's been a day. It's been a, it's been a it's, night. It's been a night. <laughs> you two guys can't stop arguing like siblings. Well, if he wasn't so dumb. Well, if he wasn't so wrong all the time. Yeah, it's see fine. what I mean? Yeah. See what I mean? It's fine. <laughs> dumb and wrong. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are both wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad. It's bad. Gavin. Gavin, gear guy Colas, fuck off. showed up tonight. Oh, <laughs> fuck off? What'd you, have, what, what'd you show up with here, dude? What'd you show up with? Had My to, suppressor. Had to had it. Well, yeah. Had, had, it, had to. Gear I guy. bought another one. I was there, too. Nice, dude. Nice. Well, so when are you going to flip that one and get something else? No, I'm not flipping this one. Oh, buying a new one still, though? I got bought, got another, buy, no, I bought another, another one. I bought another one. I bought the exact same thing, but twice. Nice, dude. I bought the short version, though, for my other rifle. Damn, bro. Look at hey, you, hey, dude. I'm going to have a hot take that you two are going to have to hold me to. Okay. Other than that suppressor and the other suppressor, Yeah. no hunting gear being bought this year by me. Lies, lies, <laughs> nope. lies. Nothing. Why are you lying? I don't need anything. Why are you lying? Bro, bro? I cleaned out the garage and the trailer Why the other day. I don't need anything. I literally lying. don't need anything. You're not going to buy no, any first don't. light? Gavin, Gavin, no. you, Gavin no. you didn't need anything <laughs> over the last, what, three years? No, I needed no, shit. No, you didn't need I needed, any. I needed new robos. I needed a second set of panel blinds. No, needed you needed some. to fix your old robos. <laughs> <laughs> no, I melted four of them down. Why? Because I souped them up with the M18 Milwaukee batteries and I melted the motors because I didn't realize that. I later found out the motors are not supposed to spin at that RPM rate. We used to hook them up to car batteries. Really quick, let me just ask you a question. So, the old mojos. Yeah. Yep. 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 The old school ones that can handle it. Didn't you start your career as an electrician? Yeah. So you don't understand like wattage? No, I fully how knew. that works. I just did. <laughs> kind of one of the most basic things about electricity. No. So what I what I thought would happen was generally those motors because they run short term. Sure. They won't heat up enough to where it'll be a problem. And I was like, oh, I never run them that long. Like they're always intermittent. It'll be fine. Well, then I just kind of left them on mm. for a, fu- a few full day sits. Oh. And not really thinking about my repercussions of that action. Then like when I went to grab them later, I'm like, oh. I have melted this entire motor down. Oops. Nice. Oops. So it is what it is. So you know, I, that's something I bought I'm, new ones. That's something I'm waiting to see is a gear fire while hunting. Um, I mean, I've seen some motor fires. Were you happen. not with? Oh, were you not with for the motor fire? Or nah, no, but I've seen some. Oh. Some motor fires. But that's like, you know, like a piece of gear. Like a motorized piece yeah. of gear in the field. Not How yet. funny would it be if you were on a hunt and a lucky duck started on fire? I would. I'd start giggling. Yeah, I but would no, I'm gonna go on record. I'm not buying other than the two suppressors. I don't need anything. Why you are you? You should do need, that. I don't bro. need anything, bro. You should. I don't need anything. You're just you, wrong. You will buy something. You will buy so. something. I don't because because guys, there's something bigger in the works that I'm trying to buy. So you're gonna buy something. <laughs> it's not hunting related. It's not hunting related. You're still gonna buy some hunting shit. I don't think so because oh, I'm yeah, selling. Bro. I'm selling the boat. Boat's going up. Why? Because I want, didn't use it. No, I used it, but I want a different toy. How many times did you buy it? How many or times did I you use it? it? Six times, seven, six, seven, six, seven days. But what I thought I would. Yeah. Seven to ten days. Is what I. You're really it. selling it. I'm gonna finish the let tops. Let me let me help you find a good old Lund. <laughs> no. Why? <laughs> Why? No, because I don't want a boat. Why? Because like this year, I'm. I didn't draw mon- tentatively at the moment. I haven't drawn my Montana tag yet, so I don't know what I'm gonna do for the fall. But I'm probably not gonna water hunt a ton. Um, because I've gotten into cow hunting more and big game more. Next year, I'm going to Alaska once, possibly twice. The year after, I go back to Alaska. So, like, I'm not. Look at this guy. He's got plans for four years. <laughs> Three. And he's not buying any gear this year. Yeah, right. I'm not buying any gear. I've got everything I need. I buy, I'm golden. I don't need anything. Wait till that new stuff comes out, bro. I'm, I'm going to self-control because I want this other thing. What other thing? We're not going to talk about it. Really? Yeah. Really? 
It's just a fun toy for me. Here, we'll, we'll bleep it. You say it, and then Cal will react. Is it a bidet? No. <laughs> <laughs> They're not that expensive. No. You can. I want to... Oh my god! The <laughs> fuck! <laughs> I want to so we're going different routes. You, <laughs> I miss having in the family, so I want to. I want a fast You're definitely laptop. Definitely buying new hunting gear this year. No, I can't. Yeah, if I do dude. that route. I since can't. Guy, route. Since the guy that just told us he's thinking about buying a. <laughs> You're definitely buying hunting gear this year. No, no. I, I would. I'd bet a lot of money you buy new hunting gear before. No, before October. Oh, no. Yeah. Before, uh, you know what? I bet a lot of money you buy new hunting gear before September. No, I don't think so. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you a big Game Fair guy? No, not no. usually. He's, no. He's just working at Game Fair. Yeah, I usually much. just work, and I'm usually too hungover to want to buy anything. <laughs> I'm usually yeah. battling a hangover. Bad. Oh, yeah, bad, bad. I'm down bad, usually. Yeah, no, you smell like liquor at Game Fair. <laughs> <laughs> Last the whole spread. time we're at Game Fair. Yeah, that's been known to happen. Yeah. Last year, I won't lie, I walked in on the day after the party at my house, and Cal walks up and he goes, Jesus. I was like, what? He goes, bro, I can smell the beer from you. I can smell, <laughs> I believe the words, I can smell the liquor on your breath from here. And I was like, you're like five feet away. He goes, yeah, I know. And I'm <laughs> yeah. like, ooh, is that bad? He goes, get a mint. I'm like, okay. Sorry, I'm talking to families and kids there and shit. Blowing a call, then he yeah. gives it to a kid. Yeah, just I'm just tastes like vodka, weak like Jack Daniels, oh, and regrets. It's bad. It's not good. No, I don't think. I honestly like. So this is why I think it. I cleaned out the trailer, like organized the whole garage, like went through everything. Dude, I almost started selling stuff because I legitimately don't need anything. I went on Sitka the other day because I got a spring bear hunt coming up, and I was like, oh, I could maybe use something. I can't buy anything or justify well, yeah, buying anything. Well, you can't anything. buy anything on Sitka because you should be buying it on First Light. Even, yeah. Which is a sponsor's podcast. So true. just so you know. Big fan of it, too. Love yeah, it. it's the best it right shit. Now. 100%. Oh, yeah. But and even on there, like, other than I would like their rain gear. And I was going to say. I don't, I don't need they their have rain some, gear. I don't need it. They have some sick new shit coming oh. out this year that we tested last year. And I'm telling you guys, they're committed. They're very People, committed. If you don't have a furnace hoodie, yeah. buy five. Yeah. Buy five. I'm wearing We're one both too. wearing them. They are the comfiest too, hoodie yeah, that I own. It's comfy. the favorite thing. It's the I, only dress clothes Carter owns. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, wore, I, I wore the new chalice jacket to my groom's dinner because it was <laughs> the shorts. nicest thing I owned. He wore shorts, bro. <laughs> yeah. You wore shorts, <laughs> yeah. dude. Khaki. You wore shorts with Did the they chalice have really jacket. cargo shorts? No, they weren't cargo. Okay. They were khaki. Oh, God. Bro, it's the nicest thing you own. Yeah, it, it is. <laughs> it is the nicest thing you own. It's really nice. It's a really nice jacket. It is. I love it. But no, um, but no really I, nice. I really want the rain gear, but I don't need any rain gear. I just bought I their top, it. the rain uh, top. Very nice. It. Very light. It. Stop it, Carter. I need to stand true on ever not wear shorts to an event. <laughs> not buying any hunting gear. Don't ever wear shorts to an event, dude. Yeah. I didn't have khaki pants, oh so. God. I also... They're like 20 bucks at Target. I didn't yeah. have time. I didn't have time. All right. I, I also am trying to get rid of this whole gear guy thing because you guys have labeled me and now everyone fucking calls me when I run into anybody. Well, that that's good. They shit. should call you. You know about all the gear. You read about everything that's coming out. You know all the guns, all the suppressors, all the accessories. Hold on, the hold scopes, on. Gun, the thermals, gun, the fucking everything. Does a, does a gun count? As hunting gear? Yeah. What if I just... Uh, what else are you going <laughs> to use it for, bud? Home defense? No, you're not. That's that's a lie. No, that's a, yeah. You yeah. are like I said. You're buying gear. No, I'm not buying anything. You're buying a gun. Nope. What I gun? I've not thought about buying gun. Uh, uh, no, no. <laughs> yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, I'm you gonna are. Standing true, man. No, no. standing true. I'm standing on business. Standing no. on business. I ain't buying nothing. All right, Manny's bet. No, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that confident in myself. I know you're not, bro. You're gonna but buy gear. Do, I don't think I'm gonna. You I don't are, need dude. anything. I know you don't. What you do I never need, need anything. What, that, what do I need? Gavin, me and you've done this a hundred times. You never need anything. Every time I ask you what you're buying next, you say, I don't know. I don't need anything. And then the next time I see you, you got a new suppressor and you got another one waiting on order. Well, it's because they had a good deal. <laughs> That's what I mean. You're gonna find, it's going to be How a good deal. How do you pass on a good deal? <laughs> yeah, exactly. How do you, dude? Same reason I bought a four wheeler the other day. What? Yeah, I bought a wheeler the other day. <laughs> This is a problem. I've never seen anything like it. What do you mean? I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> what do you mean? 
Yeah, you're saying you're not going to buy anything because you just bought everything. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like in the last 10 days, you bought everything you ever needed. Yeah. I and you're going to sell have, some stuff? I Wait till you sell that. I may have spent a lot of money in the last two weeks to where I know now I Damn, literally don't must have been a good few months. That's been, works been good. Works been good. <laughs> We've been doing real well. Dude, it's, it's just, it's, un, it's unreal, man. I can't, I can't get over it. Like every time you're here, I'm like, can I have the same conversation about the gear with you? Yeah. Because every time you have bought something new. The worst part you was, buy, the worst What part, wheeler did you buy? Uh, 2018 Kodiak 700. Okay. Special edition. They special got, edition. Oh, yeah. Special paint, special rear ends, special like, yeah, the whole nine. No, the guy had it on like... The guy had on a killer deal. I couldn't pass it. I offered him cash offer, and he's like, done. I was like, dude, that's, I could flip it and make 3G. It's perfect. You are gear guy. No. Don't say you hate being labeled that. You <laughs> are that. I'm not. You better get comfortable. <laughs> I literally you better out, get comfortable I with literally it. was at a birthday party the other day, and this kid walks up, and he goes, hi, Luke said you're Gavin. I was like, yeah, Gavin Cole, it's nice to meet you, kid. I won't say his name. And he goes, yeah, I, I know who you are. And I go, what do you mean? He goes, well, I listen to the Midwest Flyers podcast. You're the gear guy. I'm like, fuck me. Yeah. Damn yeah, it. Yeah, it's gear guy call me. <laughs> gear no, guy. We're getting rid of that. We're no, rid of we're that not. Label. Yeah, we actually, are. Title. Actually, that's the title. Gear guy call us. I hate both of you. <laughs> yeah. You're just playing into this now for the fun of it. You invented it. No, I didn't. Yes, you, you put did. the label on it. You became it. I <laughs> I you didn't think were it. Was a, it. I wasn't a problem until you made it a problem. You were it. I wasn't it. There was no evidence. The of problem's it. you, dude. It's, <laughs> not, it's not a problem. The problem is you. Grow up poor and then start making money, and then you realize you like nice shit. I'm sorry. Your, your guy Colas. Your gear guy Colas. Yeah, like you. I said, you're buying more hunting equipment before season starts, guaranteed. No chance. I bought it guaranteed. in the last two weeks. Guaranteed. What I about those Lucky Ducks you broke? I already bought new ones. You're going to need more. No. Yeah, you no. are. You know you are. I bought Lucky Ducks. We're good there. Um, I don't Got your Onyx membership locked up for the year? Just paid the other day. Did you use our discount code? Yep. Which first is? First time ever. Which is MWF20. Mm-hmm. Nice, dude. Love finally it. saved yourself. Finally <laughs> saved. Hey, dude, it's Three on, years of the it's code. It's been on rotation of just coming <laughs> off my of card, card. And I never pay attention. And for every reason, I was in my phone. It was like, pending. Oh shit! I cancel it and then I resubscribe. I'm like MF20, baby, give me my MWF20. 20. MW 20. M- sorry, MW. Nope, 20. it's okay. You got it. You're right. <laughs> no, good. I did. I did use that though. Thank nice. you. Appreciate you, boys. You First it, time in seven years of being Thank friends. God, I finally That's saved myself bad. some money. It's bad. Joey, every year I like I use Onyx religiously and I love the app. It's fantastic. And literally, we'll be scouting again. He goes. Did you renew already? I'm like, yeah, seven months ago. And he goes, did you use the thing? I go, no, I forgot. And then it renewed and I was out the hundred bucks and he's moved on. And he's like, for someone who's so stingy with his money, it really shocks me that you don't pay attention to that. And I go, right? You're not stingy with your money. Oh, according to Joey, I am. No. You think so? No. I think I just kind of. I think you buy whatever you want. (laughs) (laughs) I think I work hard enough to where I can. Yeah. No, I, you're gear guy Colas. I get it. And it's true. I'm not buying anything else. You know what we should go into? The intro? Let's do the intro. 10 minutes in. Yeah, literally. <laughs> yeah. 20. Is it, is it 10? Uh, a little over, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. It's all right, bro. We got to get this song in here. Yeah, no, I, I love this. It's a vibe. It is. It's a vibe. Should we do the draft? Sure. Right away? Uh, yeah, let's. let's or we could debate. You want to get heated or you want to have some fun? Should we end with the fun? Let's get heated. All I, right. love, I love getting heated. Yeah, let's get... Yeah. <laughs> you know you're talking to? Yeah. <laughs> you want me to intro it? Call us. <laughs> yes, set up, set up the great debate, Carter. The great debate, uh, these two each have a side of the topic, whether they agree with it or not. <sighs> uh, they have to debate on it. This week, they do agree on it, I believe. We don't. We disagree no. on it. No, agree on your side. Do you agree on your side? So the topic. Oh yes, actually yes. Yeah. This oh, week we oh, believe oh. you believe yeah. in what you're debating. We are opposites. Yeah, we yeah. are opposites. Hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So this week's topic is social media impact on hunting, whether it's yeah. positive or negative. Cal, you picked positive. At negative. And we're gonna let the curmudgeon old man go first, Gear Guy Colas. So, please present your opening monologue as to why. Social media is having a negative impact on hunting. Social media as a whole? 
I thoroughly think it's turned everything into a dick measuring contest of, oh, you only shot five birds, and just all that shit talking. And it's brought every little keyboard warrior to the table trolling somebody or making fun of somebody. Not like a a kid fresh to the game gets shit on because he bought this brand decoy versus this brand or whatever it was. I just thoroughly am against... Again, I hunted before social media. Facebook could end tomorrow. Instagram could end tomorrow. And I'm still hunting. Nothing changes for me. I could give a fuck. Now, I will say, social media has brought me some great friends. And I love that aspect. That perk of it. But what I don't like is even some of the shit that's happened with those things. You meet people and I'm like, man, you just suck. And... They're cool online, and everyone thinks they're cool online, but you meet them in person, and I'm just like, yeah, not my type of people. And I don't know. I just think it's it's put a lot of unneeded pressure on things, and I think it's ruined a lot of things versus, like, how guys scout and where they hunt and just all of it. I think it's blown certain areas up. I just, I think a lot of kids are lazy now, so social media is the easy way out. And just the constant dick measuring contest and constant, like, when was the last time you went on social media and saw someone go, hey, man, nice shoot. Hey man, this. all the time. Really? It's not. It's always. You didn't shoot a limit. It's shit. I had that comment. A Minnesota opener in a field. We killed eighty three birds, but it's technically not our limit, and we got shit on. On my shit post. on. Somebody on there's like, well, it's technically still not a limit. And I was like, yeah, sorry. We on shot Instagram. It. Yeah, on my Instagram. I was like, sorry that I was at my hen limit. And I called it a day. What do you want me to do? Like, it's open day. Like, we fucked him up. I'm sorry. He goes, yeah, but it's not limits. Limits only, bro. And I was like, dude, I'm out on this. So out on Somebody this. said that? Yeah. Wow. I had to block the kid because I was tired of the trolling bullshit. We both know this person, too. I will not put them on blast, but we okay. both know this person. What would you say is the number one most important thing for the future of hunting? Bringing kids up. Correct. So what are kids into now? They didn't grow up like you, you curmudgeon farm kid. Okay. So what did kids grow up with now? You think TikTok is getting kids into hunting? I think that it's not a question that kids today are using social media as a massive part of their daily lives. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that they were when you were six and eight and 10 and 15 years old. And well, 15 for sure. 15 was a part of social media. Social media was a part of your life for sure. For sure. For sure, but not like it is today. Mm, it was, more, it was yeah. more fun. Yeah, like now, a thing. Nah. Okay. Yeah, but, but, but hold on. So you but, still need someone to take you and the show internet, you. internet, listen, the internet, yeah. Instagram, YouTube, that has changed the world without a question. Oh, yeah. The resources sure. that are available, how many people are using it, old and young, the whole world is on social media now. Mm-hmm. Okay? We have a problem in this country, which is we have a decline in hunters, correct? Mm -hmm. Yep. So the people you need to reach to get more people into hunting is who? Young people. Kids. Yeah. Right. Sure. Correct. And it's way less common nowadays for kids to grow up hunting than it was when you were a kid or even when our parents were kids, especially. That's not subjective. Oh, I bet you. No, it's not because there's less people. There's less people hunting, Gavin. There's less people hunting now, so there's less people taking their kids hunting. Yeah, but hold on, it's not always your kid you take hunting. No, but most of the time, my first duck hunt wasn't my dad. Most of the time, when people are learning to hunt, it is with a family member. Most of the time. Uh, No, dude. I would disagree with that personally. My dad only took me deer hunting. That's it. That's just your personal experience. Yeah, but like I can name a hundred kids that like. I've taken kids that aren't even family. Not anything. Like a neighbor kid comes up and is like, hey man, cool boat. Like, what it's, did you it's do? It's statistical fact that more kids, more people Where are using social statist- media oh, okay. than ever before. Mm-hmm. That's right? Yeah. And it's statistical fact that we have less hunters in the country than we've ever had before. I'd have to see that pulled up to show me that actually. Well, we have a decline continuously in license sales. In which license sales though? For Waterfall? sure Waterfall. Waterfall, I think, is the only one. Deer hunting's up since 2020. Every since year. 2020. Yeah, but it only on but the decline overall, for like over five the last, years. Yeah. But you're only a decline for a five-year period at that point. Right now, the way to reach people to grow hunting Do you think is, it's social media only? 
it's not only social media, but I think it's a massive piece of it. And especially because we're trying to give people a resource for how to learn how to go hunting if they don't have somebody in their family or a close friend that's teaching them how to do it. And one of the ways that we can make sure that people are still interested in hunting is to reach them where they are, which is on social media. Kids are on social media. Young people, people our age, old people are on social media. That is just literally a fact. There are more people using social media than ever before. Mm -hmm. And that continues to rise every day. So if we want to reach people where they are, especially a younger generation coming up into waterfowl, then a great place for us to reach them is social media. And now, your argument is that it's people shitting on each other. Where do you think it. they got that from? I would just say the, the social media as a whole has always been that way. You don't think that there's been guys shit-talking each other back and forth at shows and shit in the industry for oh, years I don't, and years? I don't think that, no. But what I think is, I think social media has given way more ability to shit talk someone over a keyboard. Oh yeah, it's given a platform. A screen. It's given but not even a platform, but it's given you the ability to not get punched in the mouth for being an asshole. Yeah, but at the end of the day, right, this shit's been going on forever. People I think have been shit talking I think, I think old and young some, generations. 100%, and I think if you like I hunted with my uncle who's now passed away, but he's been duck hunting since the twenties before he died. Yeah, guys gave shit at the landing and poked fun and had fun. Not like today. I've watched grown men get in crying contests and then in fist fights at shows about Bro, shit that people, was said online. People have been fist fighting each other for duck spots for years. I think it's way more prevalent now than it no. was then. And I think it's way more kids that are way more volatile now than back then, for sure. The, I bet you I could go on no. two groups on my phone. You could never prove that. You can't. Maybe. But I bet I can go on my phone right now and pull up two groups from Minnesota alone. I bet I find way more bad shit and shitting out of people than of good stuff. Now, do I think, like, the YouTube channels and the educational shit has been good? Yes. Do I think Facebook and Instagram and all the guides and guys that shit on dudes or this, that, or the other are? No. Again, I got no problem with an educational situation. Now, if I go on a Facebook group, you think I'm going to find more good or bad? More shitting on someone or more educational? It depends what you're looking for. Because the reality... The reality is a lot of the time we think that we're seeing so much bad shit, but a lot of the good shit is maybe not getting seen as much. You're looking, you're not going on these Facebook groups looking for educational ways to become a better hunter. That's not true. I just have all posts on it. Come on, bro. You know that. I scroll through all posts. And the top posts are the ones where people are shit talking each other because that's what everybody loves. It's usually off the, it's not off activity, it's off of time. It's, it's what everybody loves. But, like, I bet right? you if I go through, and I bet I bet if we looked at a time, so the last six hours. So that's I user you, error. How's that user error? Because people are using social media to shit on each other instead of using social so media to prop each other up. Proves my point, though. Most on people top are of that, shitty. right now, where is the most common place people meet when they're dating each other? Online, um, on apps. Yeah, maybe, because most people don't go to a bar and just talk to people anymore. Then let's use the same approach for hunting. If most people are meeting people to marry or date on apps and online, then most people are learning or finding ways they can hunt or finding people they can hunt with online. As a single dude, I can tell you that ain't that great of a spot at the moment. Bro, I'm telling you, there's tons of people that meet each other online hunting, and I personally have met so many people through social media that are great people that I've enjoyed every minute of hunting with them through online social media platforms than anywhere else. Would you say you've met more shitty people overall? or No, I would say I've met more good people. And hunted with and been friends yes. with? Hmm. I would disagree heavily. <clears throat> well, you're Either. a curmudgeonal man. I just like a different class of people. What the fuck is that? <laughs> that's a bug, bro. That's a, that's a bug. And now it's embedded in the fucking TV, dude. What is you your problem? Oh, my. <laughs> Look in the bathroom. It's never going away. <laughs> That's fine. Joey will find it. <clears throat> Joey definitely won't find it. <laughs> He's got a science experiment in the freezer. That's my science experiment. <laughs> it's yours? <laughs> yeah. What is it? I don't know. I can't remember. No idea. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't own that earlier. You own it now? No, I stand on it. I think there is way more bad shit put on there now and not 
not the right people teaching. You got to start looking for the good stuff, but I've looked for the good stuff, and I still don't uh, think, I still think a lot of the people. I still think a lot of people with a platform aren't teaching the right ways and the right things. People hate on each other all the time for everything, bro. Especially, Maybe. especially when you want to show off or do something that you think hasn't been done, or you have a. It's a big dick contest for sure, but that happens in life. Yeah, people but, have but been meeting point, up to show but, off their deer for years at coffee shops. Well, my deer, you know, look at my deer, bud. Look at look at him. Oh, look at your little deer. Bro, this has been going on for, for centuries, bro. Well, how many times have you deer hunted and been to the deer camp? No, I am just telling you. Yeah, but like, have you, hold on, have you ever. You're uh, telling me you really think the guys that were duck hunting didn't kid, used to no, show up and say, look at, I got a limit up, today on. and you didn't? I'm not saying you didn't give a little fun, but I can tell you. For a kid who grew up deer hunting and grew uh-huh. up going to the local gas station with 75, 80 people opening day and showing your deer, there was very little of the shit talking I've heard well, today. You don't want to do it in person. Oh. Oh. So, a point is my point. Way worse shit and harsher shit is said on social media. Fair to say? Do you want to watch? Because you're more respectful and you're scared to say it in person. Yes. Because you might get punched in the fucking face. Yeah. 100%. So, more... More bad shit and worse shit gets set over social media, right? Yeah, but we're getting more people into hunting through social Maybe. media. Maybe you might also be discouraging just as many people. Somebody might try and get shit on so much that they bail. And also, let's be nah, honest, dude. Do you really think that every person on the platform is doing the right things and showing the right ways to do it? Bro, you're you're taking it from a perspective of like seeing it from a very outsider point of view, and there's a lot of people that are meeting people on Minnesota waterfowlers to go hunting with, and they're, that plenty, are getting no, no, advice no, from well, these Facebook groups and good. social media and Instagram. But and, I can personally tell you, there's ten plus kids in my phone that have got into hunting off social media. Yep, and I hunted with, uh-huh. and the shit they learned on there or for someone's YouTube channel was so fucking ass backwards and unsafe. Those kids were lucky to be alive. Come on, lucky to be alive. Dude, I had a kid literally, like, you're going to laugh. He left his gun on safety the entire time in the, or on fire the entire time in the A-frame. He goes, well, I don't know why you'd put it on safe. And I was like, I don't know. But did he learn that on social media? He was talking to a guy. He went hunting with an old guy off Minnesota waterfall in a boat. And the guy goes, yeah, you never put it on safe. You never know when they're going to come. So you just, you're quicker that way. That was that kid and his two buddies explanation to me. You know how unsafe but that's, it was for me? But that's me? not, you can't blame social media for that. I that was an in person reaction. I can blame the connection of you made on social media and not being taught properly. This guy would be worse at a gas station. What? Meeting people where then? Where would you meet the people then? Dude, gas I, take, I take every year, I take 20 plus kids hunting and I meet them a hundred different ways. There is always someone willing to take you hunting. I have never Dude, struggled. look, the world's mean. Okay, so like I don't disagree, but it's, being it's, unsafe and learning the wrong ways. The reality is, social media was never going anywhere. No one was ever going to stop it. And oh, we, I don't disagree. It's done more good for people in terms of getting into hunting, having resources to Maybe. learn how to we'll hunt. We'll never know that statistic. Well, we might if we start seeing more kids start hunting. Maybe, but. Also, you don't know how long they're going to stick with it. Or if those are just people like me that take regular kids hunting that never win. Look, You're going to have a really I, I hard do, time breaking I, that I'm, down. I will tell you, like, there are obviously negative impacts to social media. 100%. And everything with the internet, in terms of people, like, being unafraid to talk shit and say stupid stuff that they would get punched in the mouth for, it's, it's an open game. But that's part of the territory, too, though. Yeah, but like, if you have you a 13-year-old impressionable kid... Yeah, but bro, it's either they're going to get shit talked for sh- not shooting a limit, or they're going to get shit talked for their shoes, or their fucking weight, yeah, like, or but, their but, hair. But if they, if or... they get shit talked for not shooting a limit by enough kids their own age, because kids their own age pile on when they didn't shoot a fucking limit. I name I know plenty of guys that'll shit talk you for shooting a limit or shooting a bunch of birds, and they didn't shoot shit that day either. There's miserable fucks. But those miserable fucks would have made fun of you if you had shot anything or not. Or but if my you point had, is, if you so worn the wrong social glasses. Media, is so, social media really that? Great, then, if that's how it's going to be. Why do they get on post? Because you have to take it with a grain of salt, just like everything else, right? Like yeah, but the, not everyone's that way. There are plenty of kids that aren't that way that take it to heart and get offended and quit doing yeah, it. There, the, there I, I took a kid some, this year yeah. to the meadow. I took a kid to the meadow this year with Tommy and I. He lives in the neighborhood behind the farm. He tried hunt, hunting with his dad. They both got shit on on the same group that that other kid found unsafe on that was taught unsafe habits. And his dad's like, yeah, we're done. We ain't killing nothing. We ain't getting any help learning. I took them out. You know what the meadow does. Mm-hmm. You think those two are going to buy the right shit and hunt now the right way? Yeah, probably. How'd they meet you? The kid biked over to the farm. Literally biked up to the farm as I was working on the 7720. I was like, hey, man, um, 
seen you clean birds the other day. Like, would you be cool taking my dad and I? And I was like, hell yeah. Like, when do you want to go? And he goes, well, whenever you have a spot. And I was like, well, we're going to hunt tomorrow night down at the meadow. Come with. Be here at this time. Sounds good. That kid biked up. His dad bought Walmart decoys and Walmart camo trying to get his kid into it. Dad's never hunted. Never really knew what he was doing. They Should've had a pair of cheap waiters. I mean, I did recommend them to watch that, yeah, and a couple other ones that I like. But there's plenty of YouTube channels that are shit, and I'm not going to shit on which ones those are. But you know how many guys, I'm not going to name names, but we both have brought people to a hunt with me, and those motherfuckers almost shot my dog by watching unsafe YouTube channels and thinking it was okay. <laughs> you think Even they did at, that because they were watching unsafe YouTube channels? I think no one's taught them any better. And I think when those guys were talking, like, yeah, I watched such and such a page, and this is how they operate, and I'm going, are you fucking high? You show my dog again, you're leaving. I guess I'd be good. I, you know. You were with the some hunt of the time. Some of the time, it's better than them going with that guy that told them to leave their gun off safety. A hundred percent. I mean, until, been, until you shoot my dog, and then I can tell you, you might not make it home. Yeah, no, I'm I'm just telling you, I don't think that they're out there learning that it's a good time to shoot if the dog's out in the field. No, but I think what they did watch was somebody who didn't care if the dog's out in the field breaking and they're just guns ablaze. How many YouTube videos yeah, you watch like, that way? I've seen a couple. I can name But I would say so many. most of the stuff that's out there where people are like representing duck and goose hunting they're usually doing it with a pretty good set of morals and ethics. Like, they're trying to do it the right way. I'm going to give you a compliment. I would say you are one of the few social media pages as a whole, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, the whole nine, that actually instills good educational videos, good morals, and good values, and shows safe practices at all times. I have never seen you or Joey be unsafe in any way, except Joey's boat motor starting fire, which was not his fault. Just a freak accident. It's the only unsafe situation I found myself in with Joey. I can't, Otherwise, dude, it's thoroughly, I, but I can name, if we wanted to put some people on blast, I could name 50 channels that I've either been sent videos, 50, 50 easy, that I've been sent videos in my Instagram feed or over me Messenger that I have watched where someone rings somebody's ears horribly unsafe, shoots down the line of the A-frame, shoots over a breaking dog. Shoots a cripple in the decoys with a dog and a person out in it. So this is the All thing, though. Caught is like on what, camera. what you're telling me right now is that people are fixated on the negative. So there's just so many negative. Neg there's so many negative that but you there's can't. There's so much, right? So that like, is bad. And there's very little. No, no, no. Good. I'm saying there's so much in general that you're taking. I I really do like. I believe firmly that this is a small. It's a minority group of stuff that's happening. Most of the stuff that I see is pretty positive for the most part. A lot of it is people having a good time and a lot of people are doing it the right way. There yeah. are channels out there and there's always going to be yahoos that make some crazy e shit. Even bro. with massive followings and names? Plenty of them. Not plenty. I not mean, a lot. not plenty. But I bet you there's more than there's not. I think the other hard thing, too, is that some of the stuff that people see that they put on blast is really taken out of context. And part of it is people are fucking hating. People want to find stuff that they see. I've seen so many people send me shit where they're like, it's a video. And then they'll be like, can you believe these guys sky busting? You know, I can't believe what they're shooting at. Well, dude, like I've filmed GoPro videos. I know what that stuff looks like. Sometimes on GoPro videos, those birds look like they're 100 yards away and they're 35 yards. Yeah, I mean, the GoPro, I'll give you, I'll give you some grace on that. But I've also, I know some guys that'll post the, the, the clip of the one set of birds and the decoys, and then I personally watch them while scouting, skybust everything else. You know, and, oh, we did it for the limit. Well, you just educated birds, and any kid driving by watched you be a jackass the whole afternoon. Man, here's the tough part. I've been out with a lot of old dudes that have, like, never been a part of social media. Mm -hmm. I've seen more bad habits and more improper hunting practices oh, out of some of these uh, dudes that never got a chance to get a YouTube think, education than dudes that I've on, seen that are young. I think it depends on the age there. I think there is an age difference. Because I think if you're, like, I think 60 there's a mentality plus, difference. No, I think if you're 60 plus where you grew up hunting alone and only alone with a dog or not. Not even a dog. Not I've definitely alone. what? Not alone, bro. I've hunted with a lot of dudes that grew no, no, up no, no, hunting no. with buddies and this and that. Yeah, but and like, dude, if you go back that far, I'm like, like the way I look at it, it's like I don't know if you didn't grow up around here, so you might not know, him, but Donnie Sutherland, 
he used to do all the drawings for D or for Delta Waterfall. It's mm. so like when Delta releases their little like book packet yep. with like all the drawings. Yep. He he did all those designs back in the day for them. That man's hunted Pelican Lake and the Shining Lakes for until he died. Like seventy years. He's got seventy years of books on his wall. Every year's duck season. You know how many times he he went to the landing with five dudes, his dad, uncles, people. You know how many times he hunted with people in his entire career? Five I would have no idea. Five hunts. Five hunts only. It's impossible he, for me to believe. I, I, I just, don't believe I, I knew him, and I saw the photos. He hunted out of a literally a Karsten's pintail paddle boat alone. Sky busting the shit out of birds? Maybe. That I can't say. I but what know. I can just, say. What he's I can probably say, a great hunter. Yeah. What, he, what, a dude. Dude shot eiders and all sorts of oh, shit yeah, off pelican. Yeah, sure Killer. Killer. But, like, he hunted alone because that's how they grew up. My uncle never hunted with anybody. He'd go to the landing with his duck hunting buddy, Jerry. Him and Jerry would tip a hat, and they would split up in western Minnesota and go to opposite ends of the marsh. That was their deal. A lot of guys still hunt that way. We've talked about the, when we did the last debate, the push pull thing. My teacher doesn't hunt with his two kids. Dude, I'm they just going to say, alone. man, like I've over the last 12 years doing this, doing it's this been 12 for, years. This, this is my, yeah, this is my for 12th social year. Media? Hunting. Oh, no, okay. Oh, oh, okay. I got eighth year of Midwest Flyways. Got you. I got you. But 12 year total of hunting. That's how long I've duck hunted. Yep. In my, in the 12 years that I've duck hunted, I've had more. Holy shit experiences with guys that were taught by their daddy or their granddaddy or have been hunting with their buddies or whatever. Some of these guys that aren't social media fans, but I've seen more bad habits out of those dudes. A lot of the young guys that I've hunted with, bro, like, sure, they've seen some stuff. They get involved in some of the, you know, limits and this and that. But, dude, they're so ate up with it. Yes, they talk shit. Yes, they say the wrong stuff. They're fucking 18, bro. The stuff, some of the stuff that I said when I was 18, I probably wouldn't say now. You know what I mean? And and when you think about what they're into and they're passionate about it, clearly, right? They're going to grow out of that shit. Maybe. They're going to grow out of it, dude. I just think a lot of those kids are flashing a pan. I think hunting is very like this. I think it ebbs and flows depending on what you're into. Because look at now. Five, Carter's a prime example. You turkey hunt, right? Yep. You turkey hunt 10 years ago? No. Carter well, was 11. You were 11? There was no turkeys out where I grew up, so. Okay, so I grew up turkey hunting pretty consistently. We went when I was a kid, and then we stopped going because we had the same issue. We lost our turkeys. They just disappeared. Do you know how many guys talked about turkey hunting when I was young? Or even when I was in high school? Nobody. Nobody. Me. One kid. you know how many guys turkey hunt now? Everyone's going to South Dakota, Miriam's. Social we're media. Going, no. Yeah. I, I don't 100%. think so. 100%. I, I, I 100% because of social I think media. maybe part of it. What do you think it's from, bro? Um, the newspaper? <laughs> like, I, I, I don't know. May, I guess social media is probably a good chunk of it. But like, it, then bow hunting 2004, what's your answer for that? Bow hunting was the, biggest, was the biggest craze from 2001 to 2008, and then it fell off. Then it was Western Big Game. Then it was Waterfall. Young kids don't give a shit about bow hunting. Really? Now, yeah. it, now it's the, big, now it's the Listen, biggest growing. Some do. Yeah, but now with the young kids, it's the biggest. Tack is the biggest growing sport for young kids now is archery. There's no guys, way that's real. That's, that's, no, that's not a real statistic. Really? You look at tax. Look at. So I have a, a buddy that I know that shoots tax. Three years ago in Oklahoma, they had one eighth of the people. You know how many kids are young that go there now? Nine percent of guys. Bow hunting is bigger than any other thing now for whether it's Western big game or whatever. That's the new fad. Why? It, why? I think social media has a help in growing certain things, but I don't think it's doing it in the right ways. I think there's way more unsafe guys. Way more. How do you like, dude? Shooting tax? Shoot, not so much maybe tack, but in general, guys doing illegal shit. Oh, such and such person shot oh, a buck no, bro, here. Don't start with don't start oh, with illegal shit. Illegal bro, shit's just bro. on the news now because of social bro, that's media. That's not true. That's there's not been true. more there's illegal so shit many, going there's on so in much the old swept days. Under the rug. Nah, bro. This is this is this is heinous of you, bro. I, the I old have a guys game board in the to, family. Come on, bro. The old guys I talked to, I'm the not shit saying, they I'm used not, to do. Hold on, let me finish. Come this. on. Hold on. What I'm saying is this. Yeah, did some old guys do some questionable shit? Hundred percent. But but. I bet you what's funny, there's a certain family member of mine who's a Montana game warden, and you know she, she wrote some tickets for some very highly well-respected members of the hunting industry last year with no tags hunting deer in Montana. Wouldn't that be kind of funny to come out over the air? You know what got buried? Those fucking tickets. That's kind of comical, ain't it? What does that have to do with social media? Because my point is, is those guys felt the pressure. You know what the deposition in court said? Yeah, we, we felt the need. We got to do it. It's the same with foils. Boils felt the pressure of putting limits up and started doing questionable shit. That was that wasn't social media though. That Foils was just was that was shows. just TV shows and everybody's pressure, right? 
You don't think social media does the same thing? You don't think guys probably do some questionable shit from the pressure? I, I think, if anything, I think now people are more aware of the laws and the rules because of the presence of social media and the ability for people to see where you hunted, for game wardens to follow what you've been doing, the amount of birds you've been do you shooting. Think more got, do you think, got, you think more young kids break rules now? Than back in the day? No, absolutely not. And it's not even fucking close. Oh, I highly disagree. I there's you if you really believe that, you need to talk to more old timers, bro. Yep. Like the Buddy, shit. I, I grew up with only old timers, honey. Come on, about? Gavin. These bro. guys, these guys, you sit with them for ten minutes, they'll tell you all the shit they used to do that they never got in trouble for, that they never got caught for. Yeah. Kids and, now and, aren't and talking kids, about oh yeah, the we, kids and the kids last year that mud we all, stomping and like, okay, ducks. Yeah, hold on, hold on. That's not real. I dude. Last year in North Dakota, we talked to a game warden at the gas station. You know how many tickets he had written to young kids? How old was he? The the game warden? Yeah. 26. Yeah, big problem. So he's never seen what them guys back in the day used to do. What does that we do? Have, if, you're, if you're cutting tickets to every group you run into, we hunted with a group of kids that were locals. You know what they told me? Tickets only $18. We run no plugs because fuck it. That was those three kids' responses to us. And I was like, I'm running the plug. It ain't my ticket, I guess. You do you, bro. Good kids. Yeah, they man. were fun to hang out I with. I mean, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I, I don't agree. We're not going to agree on this. Never. And that's fine. Mm -hmm. So, go Cast ahead and your vote. Votes. Go ahead and vote next when? Thursday? Thursday when the podcast comes go, out. Yep, the day the podcast. So, if you're listening to this on Thursday, it is out today. Go vote. I feel like we should start doing the like the polls maybe a day after. I feel like they should have to listen to it. Well, poll. yeah, but we would never be able to do how that. Do you, how do you do it? Because <clears throat> the amount of people that voted last time for Joey's, I know, they never even listened. Yeah, I know. It's okay. Joey's just Joey's just that. That's well, all right, maybe man. they'll have to listen to us because they don't like us as much. <laughs> they would. They would at least have to listen to vote for one of us. Yeah, for one know? of us. Yeah, they don't. They don't like us like they like Joey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah. All right. Uh, perfect. Well, that was. He did, like you said. Yeah, it's true. We got into it. It's bullshit. And now we should have a little fun, right? Oh, are we ending yeah. this now? All right, let's hit it. No, oh. yeah, we're done with the great debate. Yeah, no, thank <laughs> we God. We beat no, the shit out of that dead horse. <laughs> Goddamn right. Yeah, Carter was looking at me like, fucking. <laughs> <laughs> fucking so, hurry it up. All right, uh, let's do the draft. All right, the draft. There's a topic. Each of us pick three, and we go in an order, picking your top three. We this chose we're drafting in Go a ahead, category. Yep. 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 This week's category is scouting essentials. Yes. Mm. It's things you have to have with you when you're scouting that make the scout. Have to. Okay. Gavin, as our expert, our resident sit-in expert, but our guest. Thanks. Please. I'm almost like a co-star at this point for how often I'm on star here. Star is a bit of a fucking stretch, <laughs> but... <laughs> If yeah, if oh, you host, want to, I was sorry, gonna let you go first. That's fine. Go ahead. I mean, you're the do expert I, because I, you're a gear guy. So shut up. Do I have to give one? <laughs> one at a time. You start one. So you go, and then you go I, one. I am a firm Copenhagen chewer. I need to tin a long cut Copenhagen. <laughs> so in the yeah. All right. I can't. I can't scout without it. If I do it, I, I'm not. I don't do well. All right. Okay. Well. No. Okay. That. <laughs> That's your first one? Yep, That's my one, first. one. Like okay. Gavin's like, I'm getting in the truck. Yep. The only thing I really need is <laughs> nicotine. Well, <laughs> Copenhagen long cut. I'm good. Yeah. My one, one will be on X then. Okay. Are we going this way? <laughs> Fucking hell. You guys are yeah, taking like a all clock. shit I got on my list. <laughs> 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 I'm crossing shit off I feel off like left that's right. more important than nicotine. Nah, opinion. I'll be fine. I'll knock on farmers' doors and smile. <laughs> okay, I don't need. I don't need. I don't need to. You want to know what door to knock on? But yeah, I don't need to. I don't need the white pages to find my spot. I'll just go no, knock on just doors. on X. Totally yeah. different from the white yeah. pages. But. Well, you know what I mean. On, on X is great for that. Yes. No, but that's a good yeah. one, Carter. I'll give you that one. Thanks. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with you. By the way, Carter, Thanks. that was one one on my list. Yeah. That was, yeah. We're, we both took your top one. No, no. The oh. first one on my list was on X. Oh, where did yeah. nicotine fall? Three. <laughs> <laughs> So let's hear two. Okay. Uh, all right. So <laughs> my scouting essentials start with binos. Oh, okay. I like that. I like that. Yeah, dude. You need to have binos. Like, there's so many times where you can't get close enough to a field that you've got to be able to actually take a good look at what's in that field. Mm -hmm. And so many times, too, where you're looking and, like, it is very hard to tell, especially for some people, how many birds are actually in a field. But without binos, <clears throat> Joey, it would be Joey? really hard <laughs> to tell Joey's how ass? many birds are in a field. 
Oh, dude, there's 20,000 out there. Really? Dude. Count, I think there's 700. But. Do you want a <laughs> small side story? Oh, boy. This <laughs> last year, this motherfucker calls me. Literally yeah, I calls can't wait. me. I can't and wait. it's right after the metal hunt. It's, right, it's right at the metal hunt. And he goes, bro, there's got to be 5,000 mallards sitting on, on School Lake in town. We got to hunt tomorrow and mop them up. And I was like, Joey, we saw maybe 500 birds today. Maybe. And I'm being generous at 500. You think 5,000? He goes, I watched like four groups of like 40 dump in. I just talked out with like equate. I'm like, did you look at the water? He goes, briefly as I drove by on the highway, I was like, bro, I'm done. Don't ever give me a number again. Just tell me you found birds and give me the area and I will go look because I can't deal with your numbers. You're an asshole. I was like, I fucking can't with you, brother. I love you and I trust that you found them. What I don't trust when you go... Yeah, man, I'm headed out to the cabin. There's 40,000 canvas backs on the lake. We're going to kill them all. And then he sends me two cans and a blue bill. And I'm like, what happened to your 40,000 birds? And he's like, well, they all left in the night. I'm like, yeah. It's like good and bad because the best thing about Joey is that he's an optimist. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's always so optimistic. He's always ri- riding. Yeah. A glass half full. Big, it's always yeah, he's a there. big glass. It's a good thing. It I, is a good thing, is. but fuck, I want I to know go how back. many birds are actually. Is that hard. your Joey impression? No. Okay. That yeah, it is. <laughs> you do use, you use mean, that every time. Do I? Say, that's really, really bad. bad. <laughs> I'm, not really every bad. Time. I'm not the impressions guy. Though. No. Again, no. as Cal will tell you, I'm the curmudgeon kid. Like, I don't give good impressions. I don't do the good accents. I actually like that impression. You use it for a lot of people. <laughs> do I? Yeah. It's just it's other fine. people speaking <laughs> accents. Yeah, it's just That's all I hear in my ears when someone else talks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just kind of like how you sound. Oh, you're a dick. Curmudgeon-y. curmudgeon <laughs> A little curmudgeon <laughs> It's actually the impression of himself. Yeah. Yeah. On accident. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, but no, some people do have a problem finding the right numbers. That's yeah, true. And those people should, A, stop your truck. Bring a friend with. And B, bring binos. So you can look out there and be like, whoa, did I play tricks on my own mind? Because there's only 400 mallards <laughs> out there. That'd be, that'd be good. Yep. I would okay. just take a zero off Joey's numbers. Yeah, that's probably <laughs> a good way to do <laughs> so it. That was my number. Can't hear you because you're not speaking into your microphone. But I just take a zero <laughs> off of Joey's yeah. numbers. Sorry. All right. Uh, what's your number two, Gavin? Uh, my number two is usually the dog. I love when the dog comes with. It's always yeah. my thing. That's a good one. Chance good. riding shotgun just makes me happy. Yeah, yeah, he's fucking crazy, though. Yeah, he's not. He's a he's, good scout dog? No, he's miserable, but he's still yeah. my best buddy. <laughs> yeah. Ginger was so much easier. She would just sit in the passenger seat. She's a seat, great girl. Lick your, like, if I, I've, I'm a firm believer of getting ice cream. So, like, I always get ice cream. So, she'd lick my cone and hang out, and she just chilled. Chance, Chance is in my, in my lap. He's in the back seat. He's in the front seat. Yeah, he's trying to crawl in the dash. Can't stop breathing as yeah. loud as humanly possible. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the whole time, just... <laughs> Yeah, just shit. and then he licks the windows and shit too. He's yeah, oh yeah, he's got his nose on yeah. everything, uh, got his paws up on the dash. Every time yeah, I hit the no. brake, he's falling all over. Oh yeah, can't fucking balance uh, himself. When that for dog a dies, second. When that dog dies. I'll miss him. He's a he's got such a good drive. He's a great dog. Dude. He is just hyper as fuck. Tommy put it perfect the other day. He was doing he was doing power spins and I was fucking with him with his food to yeah. make him work for his food. He's doing power spins in the uh, living room and Tommy goes, "You know what I found the perfect comparison for him?" And I was like, "What?" He goes, "It's like if you took an F one car and you just loosened everything, and then you tried to run the race." He goes, "One misstep, one corner wrong, that's a good everything one. comes apart at the seams." And I was that's like, a "Really good." That's that's spot on. Yeah. I was like, "You're right." I was like, "Because he holds every field trial, every hunt together." By just Barely. the skin of his teeth, yeah. just praying we you're can get through at this. Him if he wins first, dude, you know, you win first and you go home, and you're like, "What the fuck, dude?" I've ran field trials and been like, "Oh god damn it, dog! Just get it together for five minutes for yeah. me, please." Bad scout partner, but yeah, dog. Good Still one. love him. Okay, go. Uh, for me, my number two would be gas for your vehicle. Have you ran out of gas? No, I'm saying you need gas in your vehicle oh, to scout. That's, like yeah, that's hitting a good up one. a gas station, getting gas. Mm, very that's important. That's a good one. I get that. Okay. Because I've had multiple scout trips when I used to scout. Now I don't because I don't hunt, Kevin. Um, we know. Okay. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I've I had, guess that is an essential. <laughs> I've had multiple trips where I had to stop scouting and get gas mm. mid scout. So if you get you gotta it before, fill up, you got to fill it before you scout. That exactly. is exactly. You got to be a full tank. You're right. Yep. That's true. That's true. 
Now that I'm thinking about it, I, I do always hit the gas station. Mm-hmm. Beforehand. Yeah. Because if you're mid-scout and you get a bail off birds, you'll get gas, or you have to debate if you're going to run out. Yeah. That's a... Or if it's right at dark and you either have to leave and get gas or run yeah, out of gas. You yeah, you get sunset. That's that's bad. Yep. Yep. That's a good one. Okay. Uh, my number two is caffeine. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Which you just pretended you're going to quit forever. I, I No, not ever. I'm just done for a while. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm trying Taking to do a break. A, no, I'm trying to do a more healthy lifestyle. I'm drinking more water, no caffeine. Wait till hunting season. Less carbs. You will have caffeine when you're scouting. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I bought a 48 ounce Yeti little thing of water I've been carrying around. Filling it with Kool Aid. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, so you've seen that Burt Kreischer Tom <laughs> yeah, Segura yeah. skit. Yeah. So the other day we're at the office and Tyler has one, our finance guy. And I look and I'm like, the fuck came out of that? Because it's the clear top. And he goes, what? And I go, is that fucking Kool-Aid? And he goes, well, it's Mio. And I was like, are you kidding me? And he goes, no. Oh, that's that's different from Kool-Aid yeah, for sure. Yeah, it was. But like, it was still funny because it was red. Red. It was cherry Mio. And he put like four squirts. And he goes, dude, it's barely flavored. And I was like, okay. I was like, I ain't gonna lie. You have a 64 ounce Yeti. <laughs> when, when I saw red, all I could hear in my head is, 64 ounces of yeah. Kool-Aid. Yeah. <laughs> the sugar. That is actually the funniest clip ever. Tom Segura loses that. it. Yeah, t- I mean, how could you not? It was oh, like 9 a.m. and so much Christ sugar. Christ was drinking a gallon of Kool-Aid. <laughs> so much sugar. That is such a funny clip. Oh, oh, All right, God. but anyway, yeah, caffeine. I'm I'm a Red Bull guy, but whatever oh, you're into, man. Red Bull. That take your thing, Carter. No, I'm not a caffeine okay. guy. Really? No, nope. I don't drink pop other than Mixies. <laughs> I don't. I mean, it's not pop, really. I don't. I've I've never drank an energy drink other than Mixies. Too. Okay, Mixies. What Red, energy drink <clears throat> are you putting with whiskey? Red Bull, Chuck Norris. Oh, that's a shot. But you can make it a Mixie. Jesus. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> right. a mix. Yeah, wow. hell of a mixer, yeah, brother. If you fucking hate yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Carter just drives around with Irish car bombs. This is <laughs> fucking drink. That's so bad because it curdles. Oh, God. I can't. You have 16 ounces of Red Bull for a reason. Not going to waste it. 16s, that's what you buy, huh? (laughs) Yeah. Damn, Duncan Abrams over here. I have That's an inside joke if anyone's listening. I haven't haven't had an Irish car bump since my 21st birthday. What's the most energy drinks you've seen someone drink in a day? Four. Me. 16 ounces? Like monsters or what? I did four purple monsters. Wow. In school, it used to be bad. Kids would just... How bad? Like... They'd bring two in the morning, get two or three at lunch, and yeah. Dude, I ain't going to lie. Yeah. When I had four, I had four over the course of like a Kids? full double. Yeah, like high schoolers. Like I had, I had in a 16-hour work day, I had four, and I like was shaking. If I did five by the time of like end of school, mm-hmm. I'd have heart palpitations. I would call an ambulance. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I would yeah. be genuinely concerned. Yep. I don't even like four is bad. Four Dude, I ain't gonna lie. Really bad. One of the kids at work bought that dippable, dippable pre workout that comes in like the little Zin pouches. Okay, it's three hundred fifty milligrams. Heard of it, but that's crazy. That's one of the reasons. Also, I'm not doing or not doing caffeine. I wanted to cut back. Oh, you I, were doing those? I did two of them. I put a double in because I had a, I had a long day. Why would day. you do seven I had, a long, I had a long day, and I you knew I needed to be ready. You had heart palpitations. <laughs> no, I had heart palpitations. I felt like my face was melting <laughs> off. <laughs> dude, doing like, drugs. Dude, right here, the buzz in like vibrating this part of my face felt. I was like, man, I don't feel good. This is not good. Bet you hit a hell of a bench that day. <laughs> I squatted for some some good some weight. Numbies. Oh, bro. I repped what you what usually I like get five or six out of. I did like twelve, and I was like, "Dude, I feel, I feel the power today." Damn. Um. All right, my third and final. I am a I am a snacks guy. I have to have pretzels in the truck. And if you're a hometown person out pretzels, here, pretzels, huh? If you're a hometown That's kid out here, Von Hansen's Tangy Mustard, Ooh. always in my center Ooh. console, and it's the big one. Nice. Last That's good. About those three are good. days, and they are fantastic. Yeah, those are good. Three days. That's a run. Dude, I I can't quit them. They're like, it's like crack. <laughs> they are good. Yeah, flavored. Pre- you a Dots guy, too? Uh, not so much the Dots. No? They're okay. Okay. I like the Von Hansen's What more. about the Snyder's Honey Mustard? Oh, all oh, day. All day. All day. I, the problem is with those, though, I buy the bag, and I can't keep my hand out of it. So, mm-hmm. like, I get done with a scout, and I'm like, nice. Yeah. I ate two-thirds of a bag of honey mustard dots. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This did. is not healthy. Yeah, you did. <laughs> You've All probably right. been there. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. Uh, 
I'm not a huge chips guy. Really? Nah, I mean chips are present. No, not really, man. I don't know. Oh shit, I'm fucking either that or Skittles. Yeah, Skittles I, a good one too. Oh yeah, I don't know. No, not candy. Not really? Really? What nah. do you snack on? Fucking I'm more of like a pasta that you made. <laughs> no, Some I mean I, I will. I will snack sometimes, but more than anything, I'd probably be more of like a. I'm more. I'm a meals guy. Like yeah, I, we know. I would <laughs> <laughs> easy bud. What? <laughs> no. That just meant you like to cook, smart ass. Not that you were big. No, I. <laughs> oh, now we're talking about my size. <laughs> no, not, I. Uh, that's I would not say, where I was going with it. No, I'm just like one of those guys. That, like if if lunchtime is gonna fall through my scout or my hunt, you know, then I would be more apt to be a guy that would have a sandwich in my truck. Than like hitting a bag of chips. I can't do that because I'm self conscious. Whenever I scout with people, that they'll judge me for how I eat. Oh, because yeah. Joey judges me I've every time I get my whole life. So I don't no, give a shit. no, but like, <laughs> dude, I got McDonald's one day with Joey. When That's we were scouting, bro. That motherfucker <laughs> sent that Snapchat to like 100 people and then sends it to me every anniversary <laughs> of it. And I'm just like, man, I was hungry. Leave me alone. I'd probably, I'd probably, I'm just like a guy that would pack. I'm a packed and packed lunch guy. And I was like a Mickey D's. <laughs> yeah. Large fry, double cheese. You got the metabolism for it, brother. <laughs> Not at the moment. I'm putting on weight. I ain't trying to cut. You need to, bro. I'm, I, dude, I had to get in the sauna the day Skinny to cut. Skinny boy. I'm 192 pounds right now. I got to get oh, down shit, to 180. 192 pounds, huh? I think the last time I was 192 pounds was like eighth grade. I was 199, and then I realized I had to cut 20 pounds for this jiu-jitsu tournament. I was like, God damn, I got to get in the sauna. Damn. <laughs> All right, Carter. Go. My 3-3, three, three, uh, if you're, or 3-2, three, two, two, whatever. 3-3. Three, three. What? Yep. Well, one, technically, you're 3-3, three, three, so I'd be 3-2. Okay, two. sure, yep, go My ahead. three, um, if you're hunting out of state, would be uh, non-Minnesota plates. Bring some fake swift. <sighs> Yeah, that's a dangerous game, but also important. <laughs> Big time. Yep. You're risking yeah. you're risking some charges, but I just end of the driveway. Oh, swap them. Yep. Yeah, that doesn't look suspicious at the end of the driveway when a farmer's watching you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Two driveways. Okay. That's fair. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Big that's time. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah, if you're from Minnesota, it's bad. Yep. It's bad. Yep. We've established that clearly. Well, so this is something wild. Everyone I know has experienced this but me. I've never been called a blue plater. I've never been shit on for having blue plates. I've never really been turned down for that. I've been turned down because, like, somebody beat me to permission or, like, the kids are hunting in the morning or I've talked to the farmer's kid and he's hunting. But the blue plates have never been, like, no one's ever been, like, because, like, Joey's had in the Dakotas where they're like, yeah, nice blue plates, you can't hunt here. I've never had someone bring it up ever. And I've honestly... I bet you if I average it, I bet I've gotten We've more got a yeses TikTok than no's. video knows. that would tell you that you're wrong. Yeah. No, but I just, I think I've just gotten lucky. Yeah. And it yeah. might be the farm kid thing, because I'm not going to lie, I tip the odds in my favor. I always go to the door and farm apparel. Well, well, yeah, and not only that, but, like, you kind of, you know a lot more about, like, what those guys have yeah. going on in their lives mm-hmm. than some of us. Oh, yeah. For sure. So, that helps you. Yeah. But, yeah, we have a, we have a very, very viewed TikTok video that would tell you that really? that's... Yeah, what is it at like five hundred some thousand, six hundred yeah. some thousand Damn. views now? Just hating on people. Minnesota. Yeah, you should go read the comments. It's I'm gonna have to, insane. dude. I've I've just never experienced it. Yeah. And all my buddies have, even on hunting trips when we do two, two different trucks. Yeah, guys, I'm hunting with will experience, and I won't. I'm like, did I got you yeses? Know, what the fuck? We kind of invited it a little bit because like we brought it up, which it's you know like it happens. But like you know how this is, just as oh. you brought up earlier on social media. If people think that they're, you know, they're from a different state, so, like, they would love to pile on in the situation, so oh, yeah. got a lot of that Because I can lie. I went Indiana and Illinois ain't any better. Yeah, a lot of these people were like, man, anytime I see a Minnesota plater, I tell them to go fuck themselves. I'm like, you know what? That's a fucking lie. You would never say you that to my face. You would never say that to my face. You just tell me no, okay? Yeah. Just shut up. Yeah. Yeah. Five hundred fifty five hundred fifty K views and, yeah. over, like, a thousand comments all hating yeah. Minnesota. Yeah. Yeah. I've only ever had one farmer actually be like blatantly rude to me at the door my entire oh, career. Oh, I've had more than that, but I had a guy in Canada yeah. literally stand up from his dinner and turn the lights off, and it was daylight, <laughs> so I could still see him. I was like, "Sir, I can still see you." And, and he, he was just having stood dinner there. at four p.m. He, yeah, no, literally, it was like three thirty-five. He's yeah. like eating supper. And he's standing there in like I'll never forget the red like onesie yes. cotton from back in the day. Yes. Stands up, looks at me at the screen door with nothing, just a screen door, and just goes. <laughs> That's the best. Just stared at me, and I was That's like, sir, I can still see you, and he just stood there. <laughs> we bet, I bet we stood there for five minutes, yeah. and I was just like, I take that as a no, I'm going to go, and he just stared at me, and I was like, all right, yeah. I'm going to leave. All right, my 3-3 three, three is either good podcast or good music. 
Ooh, killer, killer, true. Yep. Always Midwest Flyways uncensored. And Let's that go. Yeah. You know, that or that or the Go Hunt one. One of the two. My two top hunting ones. No, oh, yeah. even better. Sports guys only. I Ooh, you haven't so listened to many of those. Huh? I don't listen to many of the sports guys ones because like I know what we talked. We about. can tell because what you talk about. You don't listen to much sports. I'm, so yeah, okay. you should listen to them though because I've I've have listened to a couple and I'm like you know what. They're entertaining. <laughs> They're definitely entertaining. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've gotten some very funny text messages from him, some people about some I've, of the shit that you say. Yeah. And that we say in general. I'd say, but yeah. I'd say I've gotten comments yeah. about all three of us. No, I mean, like, especially if you're scouting by yourself, which is most of the time for everybody, like, being able to have a good podcast playlist or a good good yep. music playlist. But, yeah. True. True. All good points. Good points, yeah. boys. Well, Well, I think that will do it for us. Uh, thanks for listening. We appreciate it. Make sure that you go and subscribe. Go subscribe to our podcast YouTube channel where you can actually view everything. And what, Carter? You can also vote on who won the draft on go. Instagram. Nice. On the day that comes out on Thursday. Nice plug. Yep. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, thanks for listening, guys. We appreciate it. Um, we'll see you on the next one. Gavin, thanks for coming tonight. Anytime, brother. I'd love to be here as a co-host. Co-host. Co-star, as you said. No, no, you told me I couldn't be a star. <laughs> well, not my problem. Um, one more thing. 